This is our newest uh, LCD controller. The part number is MS459LC. It is a small and compact. You can convert any of your non-use uh, LCD screen to a usable display uh, or you can use it as to replace your existing uh, uh, defective LCD controllers. Uh, it's quite easy to uh, to uh, integrate to uh, to, uh, to any LCDs. This is uh, wire harness connectors. This is key button connectors. This is inverter. Uh, this is a DC jet, and this is a detachable a um, VTA inputs. Um, I'm going to show you how you can convert your non again you know a uh, uh, non usable screen or you just want to buy by really high resolution screen to uh, convert to your special project. Um, this controller comes key comes with everything. Uh, it's a five button keyboard uh, assembly. Okay, and this one is a LED one. I'm going to show you how to connect to a LED screens. So just make sure whenever the white dot, make sure that you you need to uh, enter a correct screen number when you purchase this kit. Uh, this is a DC jet. Okay. Okay. This is a uh, detachable 15 pin. Just connect to here. And, okay. All right. Okay. So when you, this is the whole kit comes with. Whenever you purchase this MS four five nine LC uh, LCD controller kits, this is what it is. Uh, we're gonna help you to hook up. Uh, we connect all the connectors, and of course, the you know this one's inverter. Connector because right now I'm going to show you a LCD LED screen. So if you, you your screen is not LED, then uh, this is going to be for inverter. If you purchase inverter from us, we will uh, connect inverter to it. So make sure you just plug and play. All right. Again, I was saying that just mentioned that when you purchase a a um, controller kit, you had to enter the correct screen number. See. The screen number usually look on the back of the screen uh, on the back of label. Um, so this one we're going to show you it's uh, LP one zero one WH one. It's a ten point one inch screen with a really extremely high resolution thirteen sixty six by seven sixty eight. Um, so just remember that if you don't enter the correct screen number uh, when you purchase this controller, it might end up non working uh, uh, controllers. So just double check the uh, screen number, make sure you enter the right one. Okay, so this is already set. We, I already programmed to a 1366 by 768. Now let's hook it up and fire up, see what happens. So here we go. This is uh, connect to it. Here, I would suggest that when you connect this cable, because so thing, you always add a piece of tape here to secure um, you know just connect this all right so now we're gonna I'm going to connect the power connect the VGA okay connect the power DC jet here it's already connected to a signal so we're gonna fire out See? See that? Oh, it's on screen saver. That's it. It's quite simple. You know, it's easy. It's so small. You can mount anywhere.